Golf is not a game of perfect. In fact, no one has ever shot the perfect round of golf. As us amateurs, the thing we love about golf is it's those perfect moments. The one shot we get right out the middle of the club face, the hole out from the fairway, the, the long birdie putt that goes in from miles away that make us feel like we're the best player in the world for that one moment. Well, the difference is, for us, they're one moment. It might be once a round, it might be once a year, it might be once a career. The best players in the world do that shot in, shot out, shooting some ridiculous scores. But no one's ever done the perfect round. There's been some very low numbers. Ryan Gibson once shot a 55, 12 birdies and two eagles for a 16 under par. Absolutely ridiculous. But it's not the perfect round of golf. But today, that's all changing. Because today, I'm making 10 birdies in a row. Welcome back to Seb on Golf. If you are new around here, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop it a like and share this one around. Today we're talking about perfect golf. We know no one's ever played the perfect round of golf. Has anyone even got close? There's been extended periods. Mark Kalkovecchia, 2009, Canadian Open second round, nine birdies in a row, but he finished sixth. Kevin Strillman got close, seven birdies in a row, and he did it at the end of a tournament, flying all the way through the pack, and clutching the 2014 Travellers Championship. What a finish that was. But today is the day I go one better than even Mark. 10 birdies in a row is what I've promised you. And let me tell you how I'm gonna deliver it. 10 birdies will be achieved. And the reason they'll be achieved is you have unlimited mulligans. Wait, wait, bear with me. The challenge is how close to perfect can we get? How close to perfect golf can we shoot? How many mulligans do we need to achieve 10 birdies or better in a row? Mark Harkovecker did it with none. I'm not a professional golfer. Let's find out here on the front nine or the front 10 of my home club, Centurion, how many mulligans do I need to shoot 10 birdies in a row? Guys, before we get into this, leave me a comment below. What's your prediction? How many mulligans will I need to shoot 10 birdies in a row? How many mulligans would you need? I'd love to hear from some of you guys who maybe give this one a go at home as well. Without further ado, first hole Centurion Club, par five, dog leg left. We know what we've got to do, we've got to birdie it. Make a ball. Ah, first mulligan has been used. It's got to go in. We can't advance until we make the birdie. Thought I might have an eagle chance on this hole. Into the wind. Played it a little bit longer than normal. Get there. Yes, thank goodness for that. Okay, one under through one. Good time to talk about strategy a little bit here because it might not be as easy as you think. Yeah, I, I've played under par before in my life and hopefully I will again, but when you've got to do it, when you can't move on, you've got to be really clever about when do you play the mulligan. Like, should I have used it on my approach shot, take an extra club once I learn about the wind and get on the green, and maybe a two-putt birdie, have a chance at eagle? Or, you know, how many times is it going to take you to hole out from six, seven, eight feet, you know? It's a difficult one. I don't think it's as easy as people will think. I think there's going to be a lot of mulligans needed here. I think maybe somewhere around 30 mulligans. So. That'll be a target to aim towards. We've got through the first hole, one mulligan down, on to the next. Take that. Oh! Go there! No! We go again. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Now die, now die. God! Yes! We're off, we're off and running. Two birdies through two holes, and the mulligans are totting up.
every bit of this hole is hard. The tee shot, the approach, undulating green. It's just a toughie. Oh, that is perfect though. Right, we've got a chance. Part one done. Cut for me. Cut for me. I really don't know what to do with that one. It's on the green. I could get it closer. I don't know what's going to take me longer to get it closer from here or hole out from there. I'm going to gamble and go with the putt. I'm going to gamble and go with the putt. Not even close to that. Weak and off the right. We go again. Know the break now though, should get easier. Go on then, go on then. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. Yes, come on. Get it. Keep turning. We'll have that one. 213 yards here on the par five fourth. Par five, you've got to do your damage on these. You know, as you can see, the mulligans are already totting up. Try and get this one on the green. Two putts, you never know, maybe even a, an eagle. Try and get away with this one without a mulligan would be ideal because as I say, they're tightening up already. And I'm going to back myself from here. Hopefully make a mulligan free birdie. Which will help the scorecard. It needs it. Might even leave the flag into this one, why not? Fairly straightforward, up the hill, inside the right edge. Yes, thank you. Oh, I like it. I do like it. Wind's taking it a little bit. No, is that going to be too far left? Oh, it's a long way from the green. I think I made a mistake there. Didn't quite realise, there's a lot into the wind, a lot more than I thought it was, you know, my club light. Possibly should have hit a mulligan back on the tee, I mean, I could go back, but even if you get it inside 10 feet, you still got to make the putt, it could take a few goes. I'm just going to back myself with a putter, to be honest. Hopefully I don't lose too many mulligans on this green. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, a little too much. Oh no, the other pace and that line would have been right. Oh, come on. I haven't hit it. Oh, Sebi, you've got to get it there, boy. You've got to get it there, boy. Right, come on, fourth go. Firmer, foot right. Don't mind it, don't mind it, disappear, disappear. Yes, come on. Right, that was Three mulligans. Three mulligans on there. First miss, second miss, two miss, yeah, three mulligans. Got there in the end. That is as good as I can hit it. Thing is, it might not be enough. It's a long par five, this. Into the wind. Touch and go whether I can get on from there. 2.30 into the wind uphill. I mean, we're trying to make birdie, but if you can't get there, you can't get there, right? I can't get there. My three wood can go about 2.30, um, 220 carry. Hit as good as I can. This is uphill into the wind. It just won't get there. So the options are, we go and risk it, trying to hit it to try and make up and down around the green, or we just lay up to 100 yards and we've got to make up and down for 100 yards with our mulligans. Don't know what to do. I think I'm going to lay up. I think I'm going to lay up. Lovely. Okay, let's make birdie the old-fashioned way. Oh, it hasn't come back with the wind. Oh, it's starting to, it's starting to. 
Oh, it's going to be right in between. Do I go for another one or not? I think it's a tricky green. I think I can get closer than that. I'm going to go again. That's a more aggressive line. Oh, pay off for me. Pay off for me. Oh, it's a better line. It might be long, though. Right, I think I'm going to go again. I think that one's too long. And this green is treacherous. You've got to really leave this short right. We definitely know now the wind's not as strong as I thought it was. Take a bit off that one, try and leave this short of the pin, much closer. That looks good to me. Just be up a little bit. Be up a little bit. Okay. I think that's all right. I reckon that's about 10, 12 feet, but it's up the hill. We're going to go with that one. Yes. Come on. We're away. Good decision in the end. That's much better strategy from you, Sebby boy. That is hook left. Mulligan, activated. Terrible swing. Take two. Perfect. Right round there. Worst tee shot of the day, that one. Worst drive by a long way. Tried to hit the fade around the corner, double crossed it. It's in that long stuff. Gone. However, got a shortest shot in now is birdie tap. Okay. 129 yards. Playing slightly downhill, but a little bit into the breeze. Okay, in between clubs is not ideal. I think I'm gonna try and strong arm a nine iron there. If you've learned anything from the last hole, is that it's important to hit it close. Tell you what, tell you what, leak a little for me. It's not bad, you know, that's not bad. But I think I can do better. Let's try that again. It's probably about 30 foot, I think it's too far. That is on a much better line. Yes, we'll have that one. That one should be an uphill putt. Ah, no, left it out there. Get there and it's in. Get there and it's in. I've left it short. Oh, it's even more of a break than that. Oh, it hasn't broke back. Got to be, got to be. Got to be. Oh, my goodness. Get in, not hit it. Oh my gosh. And then it goes that way. <laughs> yes, thank God for that. That has done me some damage. Hundred and forty three yards. I tell you what, I'm happy with my driving today. I put myself in the positions I need to. It's just the rest of it. Right, downwind this one. I think I can get there with a nine. We like that. We'll take that. No need for a mulligan here. Ah Big old break, bigger than I thought. Oh, yes, please, come on. Okay, needed that, needed that, on we go. It's harder than you think, let me tell you. Massively underestimated the significance of this challenge. Seriously fair play, Marky Kalkovecchia, mate. Nine birdies in a row is an absolute scandal. Okay, ninth hole, and what's this, you see? It's a gapper, not a driver, par five. But I know this hole, there's water and bunkers down there. Even if I get a ripping drive, it's not guaranteed I can get on this in two. I know, I know, I know what you're saying. It's that sort of challenge, it's birdies only. 
but I think this is a strategic way to play it. So the way I'd play it in a normal medal, so the way I'm going to play it today, hit the down slope, roll out 220, play for position, try and up and down with a wedge. Should hit the fairway and bounce away from the bunker. Yes, okay, we're alive, we're alive. No, that's not good. Fan that one out to the right. It's gonna be a reload. Looks good. Just be up a little bit. Yes, please, we love that one. Too much, too much. It was breaking back. No, didn't come back. Have an hit it, have an hit it. Move that one out of the way. That one wasn't staying short. Ah, that one has. Got to be. Lord. And further away. Yes! Come on! Finally! That has killed me, that one. Absolutely killed me. Well, what a disaster. On the ninth hole, it's taken me 10 mulligans. So a total of 39 for the nine holes. But we said we're going to try and beat Mark Kalkovecchia and go for 10 birdies in a row, so we're going to finish in style. But that is my score for the nine holes. And I'd love this to be a nine hole challenge. Probably not a great one to do over 18 holes. Maybe I'll do that one day. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that one. But I want to make this a nine hole challenge. A bit simpler for you guys to try yourself at home. I'd love to hear how you get on. I've set the target, 39 mulligans to shoot nine birdies in a row. And um, I think I could have done it better. I think it could have been a lot worse. Much harder than I thought. But we're going to finish now on the 10th. This short par four, we've now tied Mark Kalkovecki up with 39 mulligans. Let's see how many it takes us to go one better and get 10 birdies in a row. Hope you did enjoy the video, guys. If you did, please do not forget to drop a like on it. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you again very soon. But don't go anywhere just yet. We're going to finish with 10 birdies in a row. Ripped it. That's it. I'm out of it. I'm done. I'm gone. See you next time, guys. Your turn now. 39 to beat through 10. See you later. Yes, thank you.